Hey, it's Lana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So recently I've received many DMs of people asking for my advice and opinion on the fact that the person that they're interested in hasn't replied or they're not sure if the person that they like likes them back and all of these kind of things and I want to talk about rejection because as I responded to them in the DM I also feel like it's important to put this video out there as well in the fact that we have to be okay with accepting rejection because it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with us it's not personal when somebody rejects you or they don't reply if they're not interested whatever kind of signal they give that says that they're not interested it does not mean that there's something wrong with you it just simply means that the connection is not aligned you know for whatever reason and we have to be okay with that and not take it to heart and take it personally because if somebody is not replying to you take that as them not being interested because we make time for the things that we want we respond to the things that we want you know when you want something you focus on it a lot so if they wanted to speak to you they would reply. If they wanted to be with you, they would tell you that. And we don't have to play these guessing games to try and figure it out because it would be clear. And the fact that you're unsure, the fact that somebody is messaging me to find out my opinion, or the fact that you're watching this video because you want to know more about it, it's clear. And you know in your heart of hearts, deep down, that it means they're not interested and that is okay because we're not going to be a match for every single person we're looking for the person that resonates with us fully and why would you want to settle with somebody that's not really that interested in you you know somebody that doesn't reply to you that's just you deserve better and you deserve more and you can have something that's in alignment with you if you would stop putting your energy and focus into people that clearly aren't and that aren't interested and it's not personal because sometimes they're already in a relationship sometimes like they only see you as a friend and they don't really know how to tell you that without hurting your feelings or something like it's not necessarily personal we just only vibe with certain people especially romantically we have to be picky about who we're interested in romantically and if somebody is not interested in you it's because there's somebody else that's so much better waiting for you so we need to like use it as a blessing and as a good thing rather than a negative because it's a redirection you know like you can like someone and that's okay and I know it can be difficult to like somebody that doesn't like you in return like that's kind of uncomfortable and slightly painful but it's a blessing in disguise because it's showing you what you want. So what about that person do you like? Look at the qualities and the things about that person that you're drawn towards and that you want and that you like. Now you know the types of qualities that you're looking for that you really, really like. So even though they've rejected you, it means that somebody else that you're gonna meet in the future will have those qualities, as well as all of the other qualities that you really want and need, and you'll be in a much better alignment. So we have to view rejection, whether it's relationships or in money and jobs and all of those things, it's a redirection. It's not a negative thing and it's not personal. It's that something else is much, much better and it's waiting for you. But we have to be okay with experiencing rejection and not take it personally because otherwise we're literally holding on to resentment and more trauma that doesn't need to be there because it's not personal, you know? So I know it's difficult and I know it's not fun, but take it as a good thing because maybe like you can end up getting with this person that is rejecting you if in like a different universe parallel universe or whatever maybe you get with this person and it goes to shit and it becomes toxic or they're not who you think they are maybe they're just it's just the potential that you're seeing for them and that's what you're drawn to so take it as a blessing because it's not meant for you if that door closes on you it's not your door 
there's another door that's open that is waiting for you. And it's okay to accept the fact that that door is closed and to focus back on yourself and all of the things that you want because you're seeing somebody's potential for a relationship. You're seeing who you hope that they are or who they are, who you perceive them to be. It doesn't even matter whether it's who they really are or whether it's potential. You're seeing something in them. So look at what that something is because that's showing you your needs and showing you what you want. And then you can make sure that you're clear on those needs and the things that you want. So then when somebody else comes along, you can see if they're in alignment with those needs. And maybe it'll be even better than what you thought it could possibly be with this current person. So it's not personal and it's okay to accept the fact that they're not interested and let them go and let them get on with their lives and you focus back on you and all of the things that you want and all of the things that you're doing within yourself and for yourself in your life and keep creating the life that you want and the right person will align when it's time. And if you focus back on yourself, it will happen, like you'll be able to hone in on your energy and direct it to where you want it to be so that that alignment with the right person will come in effortlessly, you know. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. You can definitely DM me anytime or you can text on WhatsApp me if you have any video requests or if you want my advice or you want to talk about this even further I'm always here to talk to and you can also comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload and also the description box down below has my music my social media my phone number it also has my jewelry brand elemental mirror and everything else about me in the description box below. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. I hope you are having the best day. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself.